we've been sailing for the last 17 days from india to argentina the voyage takes about 35 days with the main engine running in economical speed at around 11 to 12 knots with clear skies calm seas and favorable winds we are going to check the main engine performance and as soon as we arrive at port we'll check the main engine through the scavenge space To begin our main engine performance test, the RPM is set to the engine's 85% load or to the engine's continuous service output. For this engine, 85% is approximately at 109 revolutions per minute. During taking the main engine performance, parameters are checked and recorded such as temperatures, pressures, and limits. To take the performance data, firstly open the indicator cup to blow off particles that might damage the pressure analyzer. Then mount the pressure transducer to the indicator cup. Open the indicator cup and press the start button on the controller box. Wait for the light to blink. and measurement is done. From the controller box, the data is sent and saved to the computer. Pressure analyzer may vary from different ships, but for this ship, we are using the offline PMI system pressure analyzer. The performance data is stored in the computer and later sent to the office for further evaluation and recommendation. Some common calculated values are the mean indicated pressure, compression pressure, maximum combustion pressure, indicated power with corresponding graphs and figures. Through all this data gathered, we can be able to determine the condition of our engine. Now to give you a brief idea. This figure here indicates the Pmax and the Pcomp graph with its corresponding value on this side. As the ship arrives at port, a scavenge cleaning and inspection is a must. So, what do we need to inspect in the engine scavenge space? Number 1 carbon deposits or the unburned fuel residues. Improper combustion results in thick carbon deposits. Common causes are prolonged slow steaming, leaking fuel injectors, insufficient scavenging air pressure, possible engine blow-by. Condition of piston and piston rings. Measurement of ring group clearance and top ring CL group clearance. Internal condition of cylinder liner including lubricating oil function and leaking fuel injectors. And overall condition of scavenge space. And finally, be sure to check for rags or tools left inside before closing the scavenge space.